Hello out there in YouTube land, this is Crafty Gamer Oz66 with another Xbox uh, Xplane 11, when well, I say Xbox 4, Xplane 11 tip and tutorial that uh, I've discovered uh, that uh, I think it's going to help a lot of you out there, especially if you're new to Xplane 11 and you didn't know any of this. Um, so I've been struggling for a long time trying to get some airports and the scenery working and looking correctly and i followed all the instructions i followed all the tutorials about scenery i and i and so on and i was discovering some other issues with some scenery that i downloaded uh, some airports kept on coming up in x-plane 11 with the message scenery is missing the necessary libraries blah 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 whatever the library was and it would usually tell me, or you could go learn more or find out very easily by uh, seeing in the log what uh, was missing. However, the scenery files were not missing. I had loaded all the library files into custom scenery, just as you're supposed to do, put them in custom scenery. But the airports themselves were referencing the scenery, but it was saying it was missing. I thought, well... What's going on here? Because I've got the library installed and why is it not, why is it reporting that it's not there when it is there in custom scenery? So for the last few days, I've been struggling trying to find a tutorial on scenery installation of third parties. Everyone talks about the order of scenery I and I and the order of, um, you know, mesh and overlay and scenery on top. No one actually solves the problem with actually or talks about the issue of sorting out the airport to get it to work and why it's coming up saying it's missing a library i have found that solution and uh, here it is very simple get yourself a hold of this program called x organizer this is version 1.1 i got off xplane.org and what this does it completely looks at everything in your xplane folder to see if there is any issues. So I was fiddling around with this and I was having a look and you know, on the plugins and scripts, the first thing it shows you all your, your plugins and, and all that. And I thought, okay, well that's looking fine. And you've got these other tabs over here and you click on custom scenery and here in your custom scenery order and uh, enable disable, you've got these little tick boxes over here and you've got this one here that says needs attention. So if I clicked on that, it has a little box come up that says unsolved. So I thought, okay, I'll have a look at that. So you click on that and you can see a whole lot of things come up. And what you're supposed to do is right click on them and put them where they belong, whether they're an airport or whether they're an overlay photo scenery or photo scenery or mesh and so on. Or if you're not sure, you can put them into and libraries as, as well. So I sorted out any library files that showed up here i thought oh well that's going to solve the issue wrong didn't solve the issue so here's one here uh, that's an airport that's an airport that's an airport and they should be in airport sorted but i uh, don't think greece actually comes up in the list here so i'll just leave it but i thought that was the issue no wrong that didn't sort it out by moving the libraries from unsolved here into the libraries and here you can see a list of my libraries files that all the recommended things. And I've, I've thought that I pretty much set them up in the correct manner because they're all showing up as libraries and they're all in my custom scenery folder. So, okay, no, didn't happen. The issue was discovered when I loaded up, uh, downloaded and installed, um, VHHH uh, Hong Kong Airport 1.3 I downloaded from xplane.org and it kept on reporting and it wasn't just this one but I thought well if I can solve this one because the, the photos on xplane.org showed it to look pretty nice but it was never showing up that way it was always showing up with nothing and reporting missing libraries but all the libraries were there. So <clears throat> uh, when I went to the Hong Kong airport, uh, it kept on reporting every time I loaded it up with missing uh, missing files. Now you can see here only 
Kitak is showing up there. Uh, and I got the one with the leading lights, which is really, really good one to have. For some reason, it's not even in the list, but it is there. But I do have um, Hong Kong. Oh, there we go, Hong Kong. I'm going right past it, you silly fool. Yeah, Hong Kong, uh, Shep Lakok uh, Airport. Um, it was always reporting sonary problems. So I was looking around this program a little bit more, and I thought, okay, there must be an answer. Got all these options up here. Uh, to, to tell me so why can't and I did a scan here for potential senior problems and that's one thing you do so if we click on this it does a scan it scans all the scenery for any potential problems but even when I did this one it didn't show me up as any major problems the only thing it does show which I still haven't figured out yet is uh, some issues in the um, log it comes up with uh, some uh, duplicate frequencies for controllers which I have to still sort that one out but this will tell you if there's any issues or problems that uh, you, you need to address or look at um, but doesn't tell you about really any scenery problems so I kept on looking at this program and looking through the tabs and when you get on to the last one uh, you unclick the high scan and you go on to uh, information for airports and mesh, but go on to versions. Here we have all of our library files. And you can see here, it says libraries, subfolder general, and you can see the location of them is custom scenery. And there's the library, for example, 3D people library, custom scenery, aircraft static and animated, custom scenery, da da da. Now, I can already see a couple of issues with a couple of these library files. See, so they've got the uh, a, ha a dash mark through them, which I have to fix up instead of an underscore. Now, that might not appear as a much of an issue uh, to you and me normally, especially if we don't know. We've just downloaded the library file and put it in custom scenery. But it does. I will have to, and I've only just noticed on this one, I'll have to change that to an underscore and that to an underscore uh, for that library to actually work properly. But that's not the end of the story, guys. No, just putting them in your custom scenery folder does not solve the issue of why airports are reporting as missing library files. No. So what you do is when you're on this information for versions, you click scan for potential library problems. Click that again. And this is where the fun begins. And I discovered the issue and the correction. And I know that for some of you out there who are probably struggling with this too to figure it out, this is going to be your saving grace because thanks to me, I've sorted it out. So once you've clicked on that scan when you're on the information on versions and it scans all of your files, the library is scans for missing libraries and you go through and you will see if there's a problem. And you can see here resources and everything so far looks good. Found libraries with their identifier, blah, blah, blah. Yes, looking good, not a problem. But when you come down through your sceneries, now this is where it is. So you look down here through the sceneries and you can see, okay, okay, okay. And then you come down and here you'll see where the problems are object missing now this is one i haven't discovered yet um, to figure out it says install flatten pole i don't know what that is i have to look for um, the answer to that one because i don't know what that is yet so um, it says object missing but the library ones are the ones i'm looking at at the moment so if you keep coming down through your airports now there's shop uh, ship lock cac hong kong i had a lot more missing than just this at the moment it says i'm still missing object faib aircraft um, a320 cs fm crk object now i won't take that as the example because i have solved 90 percent of that airport's problem but if we have a look at italy uh, which is the next one down I have, it says missing objects. 
and there's the library files and it says install BS2001 objects, install handy objects, install European vehicle static, uh, install handy objects, install handy objects and it tells you what the objects are. The first thing is let's have a look at this. It says uh, first one is BS2001 objects airport bus 3 object. Now if I go into that library file actually and have a look at it in custom scenery that is fine. It's it's there. So I said, well, why won't you load? Okay. The second one is handy objects, flags, DHL flag. Now, with the first one, the answer is easy. Or in fact, the answer to all of these is easy. The library files need to be copied into the airport scenery folder as well. That's it. That's what you got to do. You've got to copy the custom scenery folder library files into your airport scenery folder as well. So if the airport needs that library, you've got to transfer copy that library into that airport folder as well. And that will sort the problem. But that's not the end of it. Because when I downloaded handy objects, and when you unzip handy objects, it doesn't have separate directories. It doesn't have subfolders. So if you look at what the, the airports are calling for, this one has a subfolder flags. Now, a couple of them, like here, it says vehicles. And there's another one that said boats and another one that said gates and fences. So I found that um, the handy objects library, for example, you're going to have to make all of these subfolders go through the entire library file and copy those uh, or move those um, objects that are in just a whole big bloody list, move them to the appropriate uh, folders that you've created in handy objects and then everything will start to work. So that's what that's what it is. That's what the issue is. So if you download a third-party airport and it says it needs certain libraries, you're going to have to copy those libraries into the uh, airport folder and then make sure with handy objects that you go through and create the subdirectories that it needs. Vehicles, boats, flags, gates and fences, buildings. And then use this program to find out what objects it's recalling move those objects into those folders and then do a scenery check every time with this program until you've got every missing object uh, accounted for and that's what i did with uh, a couple of my sceneries up here that are now showing okay 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 because before that they were the same as this having a whole lot of mess and now when i load up hong kong it's perfect i load up the any of these sceneries up here they're basically perfect. Um, they're not missing any libraries now and they come to life. So if you didn't know that, there's your answer. And because I didn't know it and I couldn't find any videos or any information telling me that I had to have the library files inside the airport folder and certainly nothing to tell me that I had to make bloody subfolders uh, for uh, handy objects. I thought I just downloaded the library and put it into the custom scenery folder. No, 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 it doesn't work. So there you go. I hope that helps a lot of you out. I hope it helps someone out anyway. And if you like this video, if it's helped you out, please rate, comment, subscribe, click that thumbs up. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. I love to help people out. And I really hope that that does help a lot of you out. Until next time, Crafty Gamer Oz 66. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching.